listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now simulcasting at InfoWars.com, the syndicated radio program at PrisonPlanet.tv. For the next uh, 30 minutes or so, we're joined by Congressman Ron Paul, uh, joining us from Texas. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul needs no introduction. Congressman, I have just a ton of important questions to ask you, a bunch of listener emails that I promised to read on air and uh, to bring up to you. Uh, but out of the gates, what is most important right now on your plate that you think the American people should be made aware of? Oh, boy, there's, there's so many. Uh, my, I, I guess overall, my biggest worry and concern is the attitude of this administration and the aggressiveness that they're uh, expressing about, against Pakistan. And I think that it looks like they're more willing to expand the war into Pakistan and less likely into Iran. But if Israel goes into Iran, we're going to be obligated, which might be the precipitating event uh, that will cause a collapse of uh, of the dollar because how, how are we going to be able to afford this? So that, that to me, is strategically the big issue. In a more uh, casual way, I guess, the project that I'm working on is trying to get as many people as possible to support this uh uh, audit bill, you know, 1207, which I think it's, I think it's the last I look, I think we were up to 86 on this. We got a bunch of, uh, of new co-sponsors, uh, after they heard from their constituents back at home in this two week break. So what you do on the radio and what others do elsewhere must be alerting a lot of people because some members came up to me and they said, boy, I had a couple town hall meetings and lo and behold, every time I had them, there were three or four or five people saying, are you, are you going to support the audit bill? So those, those would, uh, those two issues would be the, uh, things that I've been thinking about mostly lately. Congressman, I've really been studying this as I know you have for as long as I've probably been alive, but I've been studying the quickest way to bring down this corrupt system without them starting World War III or bringing in a police state or bankrupting us, and, and as you said a month ago here on the show, is have grand juries investigate the bankers. They've certainly committed crimes. Uh, audit the Fed, and, and, and you call for auditing the Fed, and they arrogantly go on TV and say we're outside the government, above the government. I think you've hit on the issue, not just going for abolishing the Fed, as you also have a bill and co-sponsors, but auditing them. I mean, is it the Congress? Is it some agency of government? Aren't the American people, through our agents, you, the elected servants, uh, having the power to audit this? I mean, can you speak to that fundamental, and is this the, is this the Excalibur that can kill the dragon? Yeah, we do have the authority and the moral responsibility. Of course, we had no authority to create the Fed. It's unconstitutional, but it isn't private in the sense that somebody set up a private corporation, all of a sudden it became successful. It has become secret, but it's, the authority comes from the Congress, and uh, the responsibility for the Congress is to monitor everything that it is supposed to do, uh, what it claims it's, it's supporting. But prior to 1978, uh, there was talk of this. You know, the old populace of Texas, uh, Wright Patman and uh, people like Henry Gonzalez, have always called for more openness and transparency uh, of the Fed. But... Every time that came up, the people would say, well, the GAO has no explicit authority to audit the Fed, so they wouldn't do it, and that was the way they handled it. But finally, on assist insistence that the GAO have the authority, in 1978, they wrote a law that said, now, the GAO has the authority to audit the Fed, except for four big issues, you know, and they were, that was essentially everything. The important issues were excluded. So in, in legalizing an audit of the Fed, they actually put it in the law that we couldn't find out any information. So what we have to do and what my bill does is repeals uh, those prohibitions against uh, finding any information from the Fed. If we get the books open, find out what they're doing, where these trillions of dollars are going, who their friends are, what kind of corrupt governments they support, what central bank uh, activity there is and how much all this economic planning, not only domestically but internationally, uh, I think then it's going to make it much easier to have monetary reform and do something to get rid of the Fed. 
So that's the bottom line. We have to audit the bankers that have designed this implosion who are openly announcing G20, Bank of the World, with a global regulatory authority. Can you speak to the fact that all these years you've written books, uh, you've spoken, we've talked about how they believe in globalism and one world government, and now, Congressman, they are openly coming out after they've engineered the crisis, and they're saying the solution is giving us unlimited power? That's that's what they've and that's what they do. We're doing it domestically and we're doing it internationally. I think the um, IMF uh, made the proposals that they wanted like fifty million dollars, and Obama says, "Well, let's give them a hundred. He doubled the amount they requested, and uh, that's more power in, into these international organizations. At the same time, look at all the power that's gravitating to Washington. Real estate prices aren't going down in Washington because there's so many people moving in. Uh, they. Uh, they have been doing this for years. Every time they create a problem, they say, well, there's not enough power. Their explanation now, and I think a key speech was that economic speech that Obama gave. You know, he said, well, we do have problems, and there's an emergency, and we have to do this. We don't have enough regulations, so we need more government regulations and international regulation. That means they're going to bring in these international government. Then he said, well, we have to do, put, pump more money into education. We have to pump more money in nationalized uh, 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 medical care. And then we also have to take over all, uh, all this energy problem that we have. But then his fifth part of his speech was, you know, we have to act responsibly. We have to now devise a system of government where we act within our means and get this budget under control. But we don't have to do that for a while. Let's do that in 10 years from now. I don't know how they can do that with a straight face and how the American people can swallow that. At the same time, they just see this financial crisis getting worse, our liberties being diminished, and world government growing. So we have a desperate, desperate struggle to wake up the American people. But... Uh, on the more positive side, there are more now who are becoming aware of what's happening. And, and the worse the crisis gets, maybe more people will wake up. And that's why I think the auditing the Fed bill is important because they'll say, because most people don't even know yet that we're not allowed to have this information. Matter, yesterday, I got a co-sponsor of that bill with somebody on the House floor, and he wasn't aware of any of this stuff. He says, you mean... You mean we can't audit the Federal Reserve? No, we never could, and, and uh, there's no authority, and they're excluded. He says, sign me up. So he immediately did. So there's there's a lot of people who just don't understand this, and, and that means that uh, once the American people realize this, they will get their congressmen uh, to do something about it. Well, Congressman, I know you won't say this because you're a gentleman and very humble, we all need to be praying for you because uh, you are, are really leading the charge here on something that could bring down this world government that's in its embryonic uh, phases. I mean, if we audit the U.S. governorship of the private uh, you know, world banking dictatorship, uh, if you're able to audit them and all of their crimes come out and they start going to prison, their new world order is dead on arrival. So what you're doing is so historical, and also I would imagine you are a smart guy and know very, very dangerous. Yeah, I guess getting in a car is dangerous, too, so I, I try not to dwell too much on that. But, I mean, certainly on record, you, I mean, on record, you know the globalists are dangerous folks. Oh, yeah, I mean, when, uh, when they think... Uh, when they think you're achieving something, I said, I, the closer we come to achieving it, I think probably the danger does increase. Well, our prayers are with you, sir. Uh, global warming, uh, total fraud. I've seen the studies. The majority of scientists say it's a total fraud. Uh, carbon dioxide is part of the life cycle. They admit that they want to shut down all the coal plants, restrict industry, put federal bureaucracy uh, over every facet of life. Tracker boxes in all the cars. The New York Times reports Obama wants to tax us by the mile. Uh, they say this is their answer to fund all the increased government spending. I mean, it, this sounds like a Soviet takeover. Yeah, they're using it. It's, it's their excuse for even further expansion of the government. About a month ago, they had, and, and this was not in the middle of winter, this was springtime, and they had this meeting planned in Washington, D.C. Maybe you did see this in the news uh, for this major meeting on global warming. And we had a very late, very severe cold front come through. It had to be canceled because there was ice and snow in Washington, D.C. So it was sort of a thing that uh, we, we chuckled about. But uh, I think 
I think some of the, uh, you, you know, the emissions uh, are, you know, a contributing factor. But I also think there's tremendous science to show that, uh, you know, the earth gets warm and the earth gets cold and we're through cycles. And, and like you said, I think there's pretty strong uh, scientific evidence that these past 10 years have not necessarily been all that bad. I know here, just from our personal experience here in Texas, in my last couple winters here have been pretty darn chilly. I worried about my tomatoes freezing this year. So I, I just don't think that this is, uh, uh, you know, a done deal. I, I don't think they can continue to use this, although uh, sometimes you look at the uh, the news and what's going on on the house floor and they want you to accept it and if you don't then you're some type of a monster that's right they say it's a foregone conclusion well congressman i've seen the numbers i know you study the numbers uh the u.n's own reports claim that humankind is contributing to the increase in temperature by three percent the rest is volcanoes and the ocean and uh you know other creatures that exhale carbon dioxide that plants breathe